Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 53. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Class Three, Class R Three Asian Tour. Um, I've decided for all of these ones, I've sort of picked a, a car for the country. Um, for this. We're just picking cars now, because it's a little more difficult to pick um, categories for all of these ones. So, for the Class R3 Asian Tour, we're going to be taking the McLaren F1. Starting off with Twin Ring, then Suzuka, then Sakuba. Let's get going. Alright! It is time. We got the McLaren F1. This is going to be an absolute beast to drive, by the way. Oh my gosh, I've fallen in love again! Oh, it's such a beautiful engine noise. I love it. I've seen the McLaren long tail. It's like an anniversary for the McLaren F1 series. Yeah, it's called the Speed Tail, I think. Um, and it was basically supposed to be like the McLaren F1 mixed with like this. I think it was a 20 year anniversary thing. But I don't think. Was it Gordon Murray that designed the car? I don't think he had any input on it, and they did do, like, a majority of... I don't know. Obviously, McLaren, I don't think, existed much. Until the McLaren F1 came out. I love the idea of a central seat in position for a car though. Like... And with the McLaren F1, like, surprising, you can get three people in a front seat of what is a supercar but everyone be surprisingly comfortable. Oh, the Zondera, that's a beautiful car. A hell of an engine noise. I love it. Absolutely love it to bits. Yeah, exactly. I think it's great design, though. Like, I think more cars should be like that. A, it makes it easier for car makers and manufacturers. Yeah, for the first few cars, you'd have to work out a way to get three people in the car easily. But like, realistically speaking, 
It means that the same carbon can be sold for both markets if you've got a central driving position. are in the centre too, yeah. I mean, to be fair, open wheel cars is very difficult to have them anywhere but the centre. I mean, there are some open wheel cars that are two seats. But... I mean... I don't know. I don't know practically how they could do it, but I think if companies wanted to invest in it, they could easily do it. That race finished. Did a little bit of a spin across the finish line. It did a terrible job of that. Okay. Cheers, game. Appreciate it. Not. That reveal was um, quite welcome. Uh, I very much like the idea of having. That is quite cool. I'm really hoping it's going to be good. From how. Uh, the cars were performing on the dirt. It looked very similar handling model wise to Dirt Rally. Um, I think handling is going to be okay, but again, we, we need to find out. I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be an EA trial before the game comes out, but I doubt they'll do that for this one. They still haven't got the uh, EA Play discount set up on Steam yet, which is kind of annoying. The only thing I am slightly concerned about is the uh, necessity to run um, the EA out. That's obviously got me a little concerned, but I'm hoping that the Steam Deck can get around that. Because the, the massive deal breaker for me is the fact that if I'm not able to play it on Steam Deck very efficiently, what's the point in getting the game? Like, I'm, the Steam Deck is my main system. And obviously with how um, EA did with F123, they did a great job with that on the Steam Deck and supporting the game on Steam Deck. I really hope they don't pass that one up. And I'll be honest, right, I don't want a WRC2 next year. 
I don't want a WRC 3. I don't want a WRC 4. I want this game to last at least five years. I don't think it needs a refresh. I don't think it needs anything. I think if they want to add a feature, do a DLC update for the game. Because I don't see any point in adding any new content every year. I would much rather spend £20. I'll give EA 20 quid. And they add content. I think that's what they should have done with EA FC, to be honest. Because I think a lot more people would be a lot more tempted to buy the game. If they went, right, well, we're going to sell EA FC. And then we're going to add updates for the 2024 season. Or 2025 season. 2026, etc, etc. I think they would sell a lot more copies the game and I'm really hoping that they're using WRC to trial that because I think it's a great idea most of the time there's not a lot of content to add to these games so if they add them at like half the price of a full price game and they just make you buy a, a DLC pack I quite happily buy a pack that adds an extra stage to all the rallies that exist and maybe an extra rally or two if they swap them out during the season then pay full price for another game that's not really got a lot there I know it's the business model that they're going for but it's going to mean a lot of people will buy the new content day one as opposed to waiting for it to be on sale for 50% and then they don't get many sales anyways because people are like oh well what's the point in buying the game I'll wait till it's the next one comes out and this one is like almost off sale. You know. I think it would avoid a lot of that and I think people would enjoy it more as well. They wouldn't complain as much about them making another game every two minutes. Alright, here we go. It's time. This is the one I've been very concerned about driving around Sakuba with this McLaren. Just because of the fact this thing is, it's, it's it's too quick, I think. Come on, move over. Give me space, you prick. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, well, I didn't really want to cut that corner, but you gave me no choice, so screw you. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Asshole! I'm having coffee withdrawals. Coffee! I need caffeine! I've done a faster lap in an R34, so I really have to try and improve now. I think the R34, I got a 10. Is it Fox Stevenson? I think it is as well. There we go. We got a sub one minute.
Not bad. Uh, 58.1 That's a good lap time That is a cracking lap time Where's M. Rossi in his red cars? I don't know. Where is he? He's not in this. No! Oh, yeah, because M. Rossi was in, like, the second and the third game quite religiously, wasn't he? Every single race. I don't think he's in this one. Or they extended the uh, car list so that there's more... Uh, sorry, driver's list. So there's more drivers now. I'm going to assume that one and not the other one. No, I thought if I braked later, I might be able to get away with it. Ah, oh, that was a sick J turn as well from the AI. Very nice. Let's get a clap. That is poggers. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.